Friends, this is a story of 1837. There was a small village near the city of Bristol, England. A man used to make shoes here. A daughter was born to this man. Her name was Amelia Dyer. This story is about this cruel woman. She is also known as the most dangerous serial killer in history. Friends, Amelia's family was not in a good condition. They did not have so much money, and her mother was sick. In those days, in England, poor women used to adopt other people's children to earn money. This was called baby farming. Those parents who did not want to raise their children for any reason, they used to pay money and give their children to other women. Amelia also started doing the same thing. In this way, she could earn some money. Friends, Amelia got married during this time. Her husband was 35 years older than her. After some time of marriage, her husband also died. And now Amelia needed a lot of money. And that's why she put an ad in the newspaper that she can adopt any child for money. This is the story of 1869 when Amelia became a nurse. And she started taking care of her children by adopting them. Friends, Amelia used to roam in different cities of England. And she used to look for such children whose parents could not take care of them. But the reality of this woman was very terrible. Actually, Amelia used to tell her parents that she would keep her child in a good house and she would take very good care of it. But nothing like this happened. Amelia used to kill this child after a few hours of adopting it. And then it used to disappear from there. Amelia used to take care of the children and charge them from 10 pounds to 80 pounds, which is now 900 to $2 million. But she started killing the children so that she can adopt as many children as possible and earn as much money as possible. The parents of the children used to give a lot of money and keep looking for their children. There was neither social media nor phones in that era. That's why it was impossible to find Amelia. Friends, Amelia kept killing the children as time passed. But in 1879, Amelia came into the eyes of the people. Actually, after killing the children, it was necessary to take the death certificate of these children. And then some doctors had a doubt on Amelia that the children are dying in her care. On the basis of this doubt, Amelia was sent to jail for six months. But Amelia still didn't give up. After getting out of jail, this cruel woman started doing the same thing again. She shifted to the city of Reading in England. This is about 1895. She once again started advertising in the newspaper. But this time she used to kill the children and throw them in the river, so that the death certificate of these children could not be taken. But that's why this woman was caught. Friends, Amelia had killed about 400 children so far. Such a story may have never been seen in history. Anyway, one day Amelia threw a girl Helena Fry in the river. She had locked this girl in a box. And this box was caught by the police. There was a railway stamp on this box. Amelia's old address was also written on this box. Amelia had put this girl in a box in her own house. And now this box was going to catch this cruel woman. Friends, now the police are after this case. These people talked to Amelia's old neighbors. So they said that Amelia now lives in the city of Reading. The police found Amelia's house in a few days. They found countless clothes of children from her house. There were also advertisements of newspapers that Amelia used to give. It was the day of April 3rd, 1896 when the police arrested Amelia. The police thought that she had only killed this girl. But later, when they found out the truth of Amelia, they lost their minds. Amelia had killed 400 children. Friends, when this woman's case started in court, she started acting like a madwoman. But this drama didn't work either. This case shook England. Amelia was sentenced to death. On June 10, 1896, Amelia was hanged in the Newgate prison in England. And this is how this horrible story came to an end. Amelia's belongings are still in the police museum in England. 